The agenda is bigger than what we're seeing right now. This is just a small part in the play. Um, the New World Order, I believe, is very real. And I believe you're seeing what's going to be, you know, the beginning, maybe the middle. Who knows how long we've been in our lifetime, you know, um, how long we've actually been a part of the plan, how long our grandparents have been a part of the plan, their parents have been a part of the plan, and how many of our children are going to be part of the plan, and is our children's children going to actually be living out the plan that, that that that's set to attack you know it amazes me that we don't have that type of swift reaction the type of swift justice for people that uh i guess you know over here i'm calling the boys in blue i don't know i'm not sure what their police officers were over there but if someone's been blown to smithereens as they said in paris and there was no actual or very little physical evidence of what was left to say that a passport was there and without damage and it was a it was enough for you to say that this passport came from Syria well you have to look at it from a couple different angles one of two things um, it could it could be the police officers planted it there probably most likely where's the swift justice for them why have they not been arrested why have they not been tried why have they not been blown to smithereens um, like you know 20 plus bombs they bombed on Syria the day afterwards um, and then on top of that, it comes out that these Syrian passports, uh, they're not authentic. But here's the deal. If I'm trying to get into a country, <clears throat> I know right now that there is some kind of Syrian refugee program. These people are getting in with a lot less red tape, a lot less bureaucracy. That may be my way in. Um, it's terrible because it actually worked. And it's terrible because the people that actually need the help, the refugees, uh, they're being punished the most for it. I think it's sickening, it's sad, what's happening here in Congress and what's happening here in the United States with these governors, these different states saying they don't want to take any refugees to their state. <clears throat> but if you notice, uh, they did the same thing back in 2005 after Hurricane Katrina, they called the people that lived here in the United States. They're in the great state of Louisiana, refugees, and states didn't want to take them either. So, how long has the agenda been going on? It goes back to the same question. We're just seeing it on a larger scale. And the people already got desynthesized to it when it happened in Louisiana. So now, everybody's on board, right? We called our own people, refugees. Didn't want them in our states. Didn't want them to come to our states. Didn't want to give them funding. We just didn't want them there. In fact, the funding that was given, we wanted to take it to appropriate forms to not have them come there. And now the same thing has happened with the Syrian refugees and just that quickly the people are being desensitized. When did fear become greater than love?